You know, I never wanted to be an anti-vegan channel, but as soon as I found out that it was the new world order slave diet, I've had no problem trashing on these vegans. And these plant-based foods have been poisoning us since we were born. The soy formulas, all of this green banana, sweet potato, baby food nonsense that hasn't been giving us the nutrition we need to develop properly. Miley Cyrus uh, spoke about being ex-vegan on the Joe Rogan podcast last week, and of course, several vegan propaganda pushers rushed to the defense of their poisonous diet. First, let's point out the obvious scripting in the Joe Rogan podcast, and then we can move on to Earthling Ed's acting performance. Hello, Miley Cyrus. Hello. How are you? I'm good, Joe. Pleasure to meet you. You also. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have you here. Thank you You so have much. a fantastic voice. Not just a singing voice, but your talking voice. It's very unusual. It's like, it makes you step back a little bit. Like, oh. <laughs> Her voice sounds interesting. Listen, I love Manly Woman, but none of the girls I've been with have a voice that deep. You mean she sounds like a dude from following the vegan diet for so long. You know what I noticed? The glass bottle she has in the bottom right, uh, Mountain Valley Spring Water that I drink, I guess these celebrities have been watching Frank Tofano videos on what water you should be drinking. It's alright, it's alright. I'll be in charge soon and I will force all of these pricks to drink their healthy water until they burst. Fucking David Lade was drinking my water, Sophia Esperanza was drinking my water, now Miley Cyrus is drinking my water. Where is my fat fucking check? Huh? Where is it? This is fucking ridiculous. My dad's loopy as hell, but I love him so much. <laughs> um, he, he has no way of ever hearing this because my dad doesn't have Wi-Fi or uh, anything. Her dad has no Wi-Fi, zero radiation. All of these famous celebrities are in the middle of nowhere on their own property. They know what's bad for them, avoiding the radiation from these modern devices. I just saw an article the other day. Amazon is working with cities to get Alexa in every single apartment, and people were worried about privacy as opposed to getting fried like chickens in a microwave. For his birthday, I've organized a five-foot pizza to be delivered to his farm so he can have all he can eat. On top of avoiding that Wi-Fi radiation, they live on a farm, probably raising their own food to avoid the poisonous chemicals that are being fed to the masses. These people push propaganda to everyone while doing the opposite. Miley claimed vegan, but it's more likely she was eating eggs from her backyard chickens throughout the whole time. Huh. And I couldn't get on this plane. I was having a full anxiety attack. Was smoking a lot of weed. How was old were taking you? a lot of shrooms. I was seventeen. Seventeen, smoking a lot of weed and taking, taking a, lot a lot of shrooms. We did a video on marijuana some months back where I explained that you know smoking pot definitely damages the brain, the endocannabinoid reward system in some way, and the lack of omega three can make it very difficult to repair that damage. So it can halt development in a state of a nutrient deficient diet, which pretty much everyone is following right now. What know? is the SPEC scan? So mm -hmm. a SPEC scan, um, we might have to look up exactly what it stands for <laughs> because I don't, I don't remember this. But basically it's kind of like an x-ray and it kind of shows you almost like in those thermal type colors of the activity of your brain. Here there we goes. go. Single photon emission computed tomography. Yeah, so I have one of these. Nuclear medicine study that evaluates blood flow and activity t in the brain. So that's my doctor, Amon Clinics. Mm. That's that's his uh, website right there. Mm. And so I, I have a couple of these. Um, Are they joking? This is the most obvious product placement possible. They basically want you to go to that doctor and get a brain scan from that doctor. No way in hell they happen to bring up a Google search of a scan that quickly and it happened to be her doctor. Joe Rogan has been doing this subtle advertising. You know, when you have such a large audience, you don't have to bring up sponsorships. You simply pretend to have a conversation with someone and it gets brought up somehow. It's a simple suggestion. They just happen to do it. It's a very disingenuous way of doing things. And I wouldn't be surprised if this whole Miley Cyrus story is made up, that she was never vegan, that she never got this brain scan, that it's all just an act. But I do like, I like looking at my brain and going, okay, listen, like someone cut my brakes, right, on my brain. And I have to take all the things, omega, I, I've been was vegan for a very long time and I've had to introduce fish and omegas into my life because my brain wasn't functioning properly. Mm. Um, and Don't tell that to the vegans. They'll I come know. for you. That's They're going to come for me, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you. They already came for you. And I did too. 
I mean, I'd like to think I'm a little more intimidating than a vegan because, you know, my shoulder won't pop out of its socket when I throw a punch. Then again, I'm not going to be the one throwing the punches. Were you doing a vegan diet, like, meticulous? The strictest you've ever known. But were you doing intelligently? Like, were you supplementing the right way? I do all my protein drinks. Mm -hmm. I've watched every bodybuilder's YouTube about how they still You can't pay attention to those guys. That's what I'm saying. All of a sudden, I'm like, all I need is celery. And, like, why are my thighs, like, fucking huge? Those vegan (laughs) bodybuilder guys, they're almost all on steroids. It's, 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 yeah, I'm not on steroids. See? She was doing the vegan diet properly, the right way. She was probably consuming flax seeds, all that good stuff for her brain. And I guess Joe watched my video, Vegan Butt Buddies, on the rampant drug usage by any remotely muscular vegan. I do like to, one, I'm country, so I like to eat bad food. I I had never, my mom used to get mad if I would tell her I don't want butter. Like, my mom is like, great for yeah, you. now I'm fine and... But I just remember growing up, I, my mom, you know, we, we ate frozen waffles and all that. We don't know <laughs> anything about nutrition. I, right. I grew up on... Hey, tell us what butter to buy, Joey boy. She was being raised in the midst of the low-fat dietary propaganda dogma, so her family obviously knew that it was a slave diet for the masses. You know, why else would they be shoving butter down her throat when... All the news talks about is how bad animal fat is for you. You know, when she was being raised, it was probably, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Oh, dog butter is bad for you. So that was, I did a trial period of 18 of, of like kind of removing things. Cause I think when you try all these different diets, like, okay, now I'm going to try keto. Now I'm going to try vegan. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to try this. You're doing it at such a kind of, it's really hard to know what's affecting you. Um, So I tried to go slowly, like, okay, it, it takes a freaking long time but going through and going i'm gonna eliminate this now and then i'm gonna put it back and see how i feel my body when i am supplementing especially with the omegas like the omegas have really changed my life for me i think again you know you kind of you kind of refer to me as something like a car and i think that we are kind of like a car and i was like so dry from having none of these healthy fats in my diet Mm -hmm. i did what i could with like as many freaking avocados a day as i could have more things but it's hard to get the fat it's not as bioavailable and your brain is you know your brain really needs those fats and you know it was really really hard for me fish oil is the way to go yep i know people don't like it and they don't like the idea behind it if but god damn it it's so good for your brain yeah i love uh i do kind of like the fish egg vital choice Mm -hmm. Also, because that I, stuff's great. I love vitamins. fish eggs. The way to go. That's what I do. Yeah, I mean, that's it's really the best helped my hips so omegas. so yeah. much. Oh, look, another BS product plug. This time for Vital Choice that sells salmon oil. I guess they didn't check that Vital Choice was out of salmon oil when they posted this. And coincidentally, on Frankie Syringe Meat, we have the same, if not better, product at a more affordable price point. This stuff just doesn't flow. You wouldn't mention the company you purchased a product from. A normal person would just say that they consume fish, egg, salmon roe. And then usually what will happen is people will ask you where you can get it. You know, it doesn't just get brought up. Oh, this is where I get my... No, no one does that. You know, people say, oh, I had a steak for dinner. They don't say, oh, I had a, a steak from ShopRite for dinner. So the rest of this podcast went way out there. They were talking about drag racing, you know all these different topics. I don't know what those agendas are about, but let's see what Earthling Ed has to say about this. Miley Cyrus, who is well known for being vegan, has recently started eating fish again due to health reasons. So let's take a look at Miley's decision and see what the evidence and science says about eating fish. I mean, come on guys. We know Earthling Ed is a new world order pawn. He has a very large platform, super high production value, but he doesn't say or do anything special. He hasn't worked hard to get where he is. He's just spouting the conventional vegan dogma. A meta-analysis conducted by Cochrane, a global nonprofit that is regarded among the scientific community as being the gold standard when it comes to the reliability of its reviews and published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, looked at 79 randomized trials involving more than 112,000 people, and concluded that increasing long-chain fatty acids from oily fish or fish oil supplements was not associated with a lower risk of all-cause mortality, cardiac death, heart attack, or stroke. Look at how much he appeals to authority, naming multiple organizations, government bodies, doctors did this, instead of explaining the mechanisms in the body. We aren't talking about heart disease here. 
We're talking about brain function. You're trying to establish credibility with some nonsense. Those who were advised to eat oily fish, and particularly those supplied with fish oil capsules, had a higher risk of cardiac death. Now, I do agree with this. That study looked at fish oil supplements, not whole fish, and supplements tend to be heavily oxidized compared to actual fish or freshly pressed oil. It's why we only sell you know, fish eggs as well as raw cod liver oil on Frankie's syringe meat. You know, the actual fish oil, in order to extract that from the fish, it needs to be heated and refined, which compromises the quality of the omega fatty acids in the product. Therefore, it oxidizes in your body and usually causes some health issues. Higher concentrations of fish-based omega-3s were associated with high levels of cognitive impairment and even dementia. It is thought that this is because of the neurotoxic contaminants found in fish, such as mercury, dioxins, and PCBs, which negatively impact not only brain development, but aging brains as well. It is well known that our oceans are badly polluted, and the consumption of fish from the ocean means we too are consuming these chemicals by consuming wild-caught fish. When it comes to farmed fish, they have also been shown to be high in contaminants sometimes even higher than fish caught in the wild. This is due to industrial pollution that is dumped in lakes, rivers, and oceans. This is another thing I agree with. Although I haven't done an updated video on fish, you know, you don't have to read hundreds and hundreds of study to know how badly the oceans and seas are polluted. Environmental PCBs, dioxins, corrects it from oil spills, God knows what else, you know, all the human waste, antibiotics, herbicide specimen, it's, it is endless. You know, fish is no longer a safe source of nutrition in many cases. You know, I still do recommend younger fish sourced from certain parts of the ocean. You know, something like salmon roe is great because it's from a younger salmon that hasn't had time to accumulate as much toxins. The fish eggs are very concentrated in omega-3, so you don't have to eat a lot of it. And plus, you can source the fish from Alaska, which is far less polluted than other parts of the world. A 2003 report from the Environmental Working Group found that seven out of 10 farmed salmon purchased in grocery stores in several major cities across the US were contaminated with cancer-causing PCBs at levels that raise health concerns. Not only that, but huge amounts of antibiotics are used in farmed fish, with it being estimated that farmed salmon are fed more antibiotics per pound than any other farmed animal. Ed, it's very well known that farmed salmon is bad. There's a documentary from 10 years ago titled Norwegian Salmon, World's Most Toxic Food. What are you doing, buddy? Like, we know this. There's a reason the elites are eating $40 a pound Copper River salmon, not this farmed crap. But can you get the omega-3 fatty acids that you need on a plant-based diet? The three most important types of omega-3 fatty acids are ALA, EPA, and DHA. ALA is the most common omega-3 fatty acid in our diet and is found mostly in plant foods. Especially foods like flaxseed and chia seeds, which are among the best sources of omega-3 on the planet. But it's also found in walnuts, hemp, kale, spinach, soya beans, and many more. And unlike fish, these foods are healthy and safe for everyone at all stages of life and do not pose a risk to pregnant women or their unborn children. Absolutely not true. Seeds are loaded with anti-nutrients. They are like the plant food that is trying to not get digested the most. Think about it. A seed's goal is to be put in the ground and grow. That's why, you know, even though grains are seeds and... I still say bread is an okay food to eat. It's been fermented, it's been heavily processed to reduce the anti-nutrient content. But something like a flax seed or a chia seed, so high in phytoestrogens, lignans, super high in phytic acid, it's not meant to be digested. On top of that, it's likely sprayed with agrochemicals, various herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, insecticides. Is there a mycotoxin issue? How, how much stuff do you have to worry about? Plus, how do you justify eating a seed from a natural perspective? It's something nearly impossible to harvest without modern machinery. EPA and DHA are found most notably in fish and seafood. However, vegans get DHA and EPA by their body creating it through converting the ALA they get from their diet. There has been some speculation that because the rates of conversion appear low, those in the plant-based diet are unable to convert the required amounts necessary to be healthy with the conversion rate of ALA to DHA being somewhere around 3-5% to 5 on average. However, 
According to the FDA, a 3 ounce serving of canned tuna provides around 170 milligrams of DHA, but a 20 gram serving of flaxseed, working on a conversion ratio of 4%, will provide around 190 milligrams of DHA. Really? Is that why flax seeds come out in the toilet the same way they came in, like bird food? Is that why all vegans feel their brains rebooting after they eat fish for the first time in years, despite having sprinkled flaxseed on every meal? I'm not going to go deep into the science on this because I already have. On a vegan diet, you cannot effectively convert ALA to EPA and DHA. Watch my video on omega-3 fatty acids for this full explanation. It is time for us to leave the fish where they belong, in the oceans. And instead, it's time for us to live vegan and oppose these industries that cause needless violence, needless destruction, and needless harm. So if Miley wants to improve her health and cognitive functions, she should consume more omega-free rich plant foods and take an algae oil supplement, which will give her all the benefits that she's seeking from fish without all of the harm to herself, to the planet, and to all of the animals that she has defended up until now. Is it time for us to leave the vegans where they belong? In the bathroom? This gaslighting is hilarious. Miley said she was following a vegan diet properly, consuming those seeds, and also stated she was supplementing everything she was supposed to. So Ed, why are you repeating vegan dogma and ignoring the fact that Miley already did what you're suggesting? Is it because your New World Order slave diet appeals to people that have the attention span of a rat which is caused by our modern lifestyles? I mean, it kind of seems fun to be a part of this giant vegan thurkle jerk and just shit all over the place every day, but I don't know. I don't want anything to do with it. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you guys know how to support me down in the description. Uh, if you could please uh, just sign up for the newsletter on frank-defano.com uh, so I can update you guys easier. Uh, my light just went out, but uh, that's fine. Uh, so, uh, that'll be it for today. Um, hopefully, we'll do some live streams uh, maybe next week. I do want to do them Tuesday and Thursday of this week, but, you know, it's Labor Day. You know, people are out still having fun. Uh, so, maybe we'll wait a couple more days. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.